shift at the cafe and this is my like leftover from my lunch break. This charcoal bread, it's a gluten-free Noni's activated charcoal bread. It is amazing. This is an eggs benny with ham. I got some avo on the side as well. Delicious. I could not finish my lunch for some reason today. This bread is so delicious. You could just even eat it with butter. And it's so tasty. Water. Straight from the bottle because I'm living alone right now, so I can do it, okay? I also got a muffin from work. All this food, love. This is, what is this? An apple rhubarb and white chocolate muffin, I believe. But I will have that later. I love food. Done. I'm gonna do my Gelix nails in bed today. I don't know why, but last night I had like the sudden urge to like rip all my nails off. It's Gelix, so you can kind of do it without ruining your nails too much. But yeah, I swear I was in the middle of sleep and they were frustrating me and I just like took them off. So I'm gonna do a new set. These are my nail tips. I use the Welkin nail tips. I find doing my nails quite therapeutic. Um, I literally just put on YouTube or put on Netflix and do my nails. It takes like a couple of hours and yeah. Well done. I just did like a French tip. I've been doing this a lot recently. So cute. Good morning besties. It's Friday right now and I'm working from home but I'm about to head to the office because I need to do some printing. But yeah, Fridays are like a hit or miss. It's either really chill and super quiet or it's really busy and today is one of the really busy days. I have so much to get through today but it's okay, it's fine. I'm currently in Utter's office um, and there's a lot going on here. I've got this laptop because I was watching some YouTube videos um, and then I've got my work laptop and then I've got Utter's big old screen here. It's not a lot of space, so that's why I'd like to go to the office. I can't wait for in the new house, like in Adelaide, to set up my own little office so that I have like a really, you know, good working space because I haven't had that in Sydney just because I haven't like just invested into furniture. There's not a lot of room in this apartment, you know, so I'm either editing on my bed, on the couch, or like the patio furniture on the balcony. Also, fun fact, I was meant to be resigning from this job. I had a talk with my like boss and I said, hey, I'm moving to Adelaide, so I gotta go. But they want to test out how I would do working from home from Adelaide. It has to make sense logistically. So for the time being, we're gonna try that. So I fully thought I was just gonna have to like start over as soon as I get back to Adelaide. But for now, I guess that's not the case. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I just got ready because I'm gonna head in to the office, but this is a coin box that Atta left me. It says coffee money. He left it for me like ages ago when he went to the mines, when he started going to the mines. And like, I'm telling you, this is still so full. And I've, trust me, I've used it for my coffee money. He said, use it for your coffee money. And I have, and it's just so, there's so much coins. Like, I don't know what to do with it. So. Anyways, let's grab some coins for our coffee. Isn't it so cute? I think, um, like, Atta's handwriting, I just find, like, it's so endearing. I don't know why. So much coinage, so much coinage. I feel like me and Atta should, before we leave Sydney, we should use these coins for a date night or something. Take it to go to, what's it called? Tons of fun? Zone. Zone. Like, the game arcade place and just, like, use it to play games. I think that would be fun. get a bibim bowl? Yeah. I'm at a cafe near my work. Oh my gosh. This bibim bowl looks so good and it smells amazing. I got um, a beef bibim bowl. It's like a westernized version of a bibim bap, which is like a Korean dish. Whenever I eat a bibim bowl, it reminds me of the time that I was in Korea, in South Korea, uh, in Busan. We went to like this it looked like someone's house, but it was a restaurant. Like from my memory, it looked like we were walking to someone's house, but all the way at the back was like a little restaurant where um, we sat on the floor and we had like authentic bibimbap. So it's a good memory. Anyways, I cannot finish this bibimbap. It is so big. So it's now officially gonna be my dinner as well. Why is it so 
busy today. I have so much work to do. I think I'm going to end up staying um, a bit over time. I normally finish at 4 p.m. on Fridays. Arthur thinks I type too fast. That's a compliment to me. <laughs> oh crap. One of my um, favorite things to do is to write guides on process, like step-by-step -step guides on how to do something. I did it for my other job as well and I've done it for this job, like for this role. I think I would have done well in HR because that's such a HR thing to do. I like making things more efficient and thinking of process improvement. That's like my thing. But at the same time, I wouldn't be good at HR because I'd be too encouraging of like work-life balance and taking time off. I'd be approving everyone's leave. Like, yes, go, enjoy your life. My freaking AirPods. I swear I have been looking for these. I just found my AirPods underneath my little thing. I've been looking for these for so long because you guys know I wear my Sony MX-H5s, XM-H5s flat out. But at work, when you want to be less noticeable and you put headphones on, I need my AirPods and I couldn't find them. I was trying to find them at home. They were here the whole time. Hi guys, my hair is a little bit crazy. I'm so tired right now. I've been vlogging all day. I went Christmas shopping, so I will be uploading that literally tomorrow. So I've just been in bed. I'm editing, trying to get it done. But I want to show you my dinner. I just Uber ate. I love Uber Eats. Seriously, so convenient. Straight to your door. I got some fur. For like the last two days, I've been thinking about fur. I think it's because um, at my work, you know the cafe that I went to yesterday? That place used to be a fur place and I used to eat fur there. But they've changed so I can't actually have them. <gasps> Yum! Mm, this is like a spicy fur. This is so dangerous to do in bed. Do not be like me. But also, I'm living my best life right now. <laughs> Sauce, you gotta add all of it as well. Mm. This is definitely not the traditional tasting fur, I'm gonna be honest. Still nice though. I eat out a lot. I need to relax. Cooking is not leisurely to me. It is a chore and sometimes I'm just like, today, for example, I'm so tired. Also, I got this. I don't know what it is, but it said lychee and I said, bet. I love lychee things. See, it's even got like full lychee bits. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. What is this? Anyways, I'm gonna eat and continue editing. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, uh. icing my face because I'm super super puffy um, and it just wakes me up a little bit. I don't think icing has any long-term effects though like I don't know I see conflicting things about icing but it makes me feel good. I just run it under some hot water so it's not so freezing freezing on my skin. I had a Pilates class this morning that I fully cancelled because I just could not wake up. It's literally 3 p.m. right now. I only just got out of bed I'm gonna be honest. to get my body moving and I'm only going just to do 12 to 30. Summer is definitely here. It's getting hotter and hotter. Um, in Sydney. Made it to the gym. Better late than not. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.